All right, YouTube, what's up? It's I Touch iPods here, and um, today I'm going to be doing um, one of my many requested videos, um, a top ten applications list from the App Store, not from Cydia or Installer or anything I got through jailbreaking. Things that I got from the App Store, um, from Apple, like not from jailbroken, jailbreaking or anything like that. Okay. So, um, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Alright, so here's, I'm just going to start off, um, my top 10 favorite app. Number 10 has to be MLB at bat. Because I'm a huge baseball fan, um, I love the sport, I play it myself. Um, and it really helps me out, and it just closed for some reason. But, um... Just gonna open this up again. Um, it gives you up to date sports, um, times, scores. Um, let's just check out today's scores. It it'll just see it says Yankees, Boston, um, let's see, Tigers, Rays, Mets, Marlins. And then um if say if the game's going on, let's find one that's going on. Right here, the Yankee game. Um It'll list, like, the at-bat, who's on base, the count, all that stuff. Um, another cool thing is you can check out highlights from the game straight from that thing. I'm not really going to go in-depth to many of these because I have a review on every single one of them that I'm going to say. So just, if you want to see them, get the review. Go check out the review on them. All right, number nine is going to be <clears throat> an application called Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Um, you guys probably know the TV show. Um, I just put a review up on this today. It's right here. It's based exactly on the TV show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, on Fox. Um, it's a really fun app to test yourself and stuff like that. Um, so I also have a review on this, like I said. Go check it out. Um, Alright, guys, that's that one. Number eight has to be... Um, I don't really know how to pronounce this one, but it's called... Ultralingua. Um, it's a Italian to English or English to Italian translator. Um, I need I use it a lot because I take Italian, um, so I I can use it sometimes. I'm trying to translate stuff. Um, it's great. It does from English to Italian. You can get conjunct uh, conjunctions, and also does numbers. Alright, so that's number eight, Ultralingua. Um, number seven is going to have to be Asphalt 4 Elite Racing. Um, I think it is the best racing game that is possible to get um, from the App Store. Um, Starts off with a video like this. I have a review on it. Um, go check it out. Um, Great, great racing game. Uh, graphics are amazing. Um, so there's so many extra features in it that you wouldn't think that just a regular racing game would have. It reminds you of like arcade games, arcade racing games, stuff like that. It's an accelerometer based game. You can do it in landscape or this mode. Um, so yeah, it's really up to you guys, whichever one you want to do it in. But that that's my number seven application, uh, Asphalt 4 Elite Racing. Once again, I have a review on all these, so go check them out. Next is going to have to be AIM. It's the Instant Messenger client for the iPod Touch or iPhone. It is totally free, uh, available in the App Store. Um, so it's probably like... I, I use it a lot. Um, it's for uh, just AIM or AOL Instant Messenger, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it is free, once again... You can order all your groups and stuff like that straight from here. I have a group just for you guys on YouTube that need help and stuff like that for people that I am me. Um, so that's AIM. Number five is going to have to be uh, a game called Spore Origins. You guys should know that. They spent over a million dollars on an ad for YouTube. It's over a million dollars. Um... It's a game where you uh, create your own creature, 
and um, live its life. I have a review for it. Go check it out. Um, if you want to learn more about it. That's number five, Spore Origins. Number four, it has to be a game, which I just got today from the App Store. Um, it's called Hairball. I know, weird name. Weird icon, too. But it's actually a really addicting game because it never ends unless you obviously lose by hitting the top. This, this is all you do for the whole game. You hear that background music? It's pretty cool, too. I'll show you how you lose just by if you don't... If you hit the top, you lose. Um, so that's Hairball. That's number four. I really, really love that game. Um, now for the top three. My top number three application is going to be Chopper. Available in the App Store, because this is only an App Store video. Um, it's a, uh, shooter, shooter, um, shooter game, slash flying game. You have to shoot down people that take people hostage, or else you die. And then the whole point is to rescue, um, your, uh, fellow comrades and civilians. Um, you do get to enter in high scores. That's also pretty cool. You can save a game and load it. It's really cool. Number two is another application I just got today. It's called B-Ball. It has nothing to do with basketball, even though it sounds like it. It's spelled B-I-I -I Ball. Right there. Um, it's another accelerometer based games. I love these types of games. Um, you just take your little b ball, roll it around the levels, collecting stars, which give you points, and ammo, if you want to say it like that. It's a really fun, addicting game. It has a bunch of levels, keeps high scores, or well, just your one high score. Um, once again, review up on this. Go check it out. Available in the App Store. And now, um, I know I'm going out of whack here, but I want to just do like a, a 1.5 kind of application. Not, not not number one, but not really number two. Um, but an app I um, also think is very addicting. It's a Dactyl. This is like my 1.5. It'd have to be around there before one. Um, I don't have a review on this, but um, App Store Reviewer does. He has a really good review on this. Go check that out. Um, it's a basic game where you just hit the bombs before they explode. If you don't get to them in time, you blow up and you lose. Alright, so now for my number one most favorite app available from the App Store is MySpace. Um, just going to turn that for a second as I log in. Um, I love this application because I use MySpace a lot. I'm not a Facebooker. Um, you can add, you can access your profile, change your status, all that good stuff. Mail, you can check your mail. Your, you can, uh, check if you, see if you got any new friend requests. Um, you can look at all your friends, top all online, new, birthdays. You can view your photos. You can add photos straight from your iPod to here, which I think is really cool. I'll just click on somebody's profile. And there it is. You can view their photos, comments, and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's another. Uh, that's my top favorite number one application available in the App Store. That application is free. Um, once again, reviews up on most of these. Um, on my channel, so go check those review out, reviews out. I'm coming up on 10 minutes here, so I'm going to have to end it for you guys. So, um, thanks guys. Uh, thanks for all who requested this video. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the website. Link in the video description, guys. Peace out. One thing I forgot to say, guys, if you guys could put your favorite application available from the App Store in a comment down below to help everybody else and me. Alright, guys, peace out. Thanks, guys. Don't forget that.